All right. Well, moving on. I'm going to move on to the next topic. I'm sticking to Raw. So I'm on Raw from May 20th. I'm going to go to the Queen of the Rings stuff. On this night, they had the Raw finals, the semifinals of the Queen of the Ring tournament. It was Lyra Valkyria, the Irish lass, against Io Sky. Okay. I guess Lyra's big move is she does this thing where she jumps through the ropes and kicks you. It looks pretty good. Yeah. But I've noticed her doing that multiple times since she's brand new. Uh, what was this? An interesting submission move. She's got her twisted up like a pretzel. But the winner of this match ended up being Lyra Valkyrie. So she goes to the finals and she's going to face the winner. She stacked her up there. Eos guy tried to roll her up, but she stacked her up. Kind of countered it. Didn't really lock it in tight, but Eos guy still lost. Eos guy pissed off at the loss. <laughs> but what is she going to do? <laughs> Anyways, so Lyra is facing off against the winner of uh, Bianca and Nia Jax from SmackDown on Friday. So, unless you guys have any comments, I'm going to move on to SmackDown. Just real quick, real quick. Uh, oh, go ahead. Sure. Oh, oh, no, oh, um... I would just say real quick that I thought this was a good match. Like I was, yeah, I was, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, not, not that I don't think these. I mean, I don't know enough about uh, what the hell's her name, Lyra Val Valkyria. Lyra Valkyria. Yeah, obviously, Eo Sky. I do know a bit um, outside of the fact that you know she's she can't speak a word of English. She is a good wrestler. Um, so this was actually a surprisingly pretty good. It was actually a pay-per-view quality match. I thought they put in a lot of good work here. Um, yeah, so that's all. I mean, I know I usually never compliment you know, Sky or women wrestling that much. I think it deserves a little bit here, as this was a solid match. Robert? Um, no, I was just going to say, I, I didn't, again, I didn't watch Raw, but uh, this result, that's this is a big victory um because eo sky was recently the champ until wrestlemania so for yeah. for her to have a name against um the former champion is you know that that's that's something that's quite the accomplishment for someone who just came onto the main roster yeah that's and true. she does have a win over becky lynch too on nxt so. uh, oh yeah that too that too yeah well that's that's even better. So those are two big names right there. <laughs> no, they're they're trying to make her look big. I when we yeah. get to the Queen of the Ring final, I'll tell you how I felt going in, like who I thought was gonna win. But before yeah. we get to that, uh Vlad said pay per view quality match on, on Raw, pay per view quality match also on SmackDown here with Bianca against Nia Jax, which uh I a surprise booking to me. I was watching it kind of live at the moment like thinking Bianca was going to win but they were showing Bianca was having trouble with her knee like like right there and then she was going to KOD her and I was like holy crap this was like a Lex Luger moment <laughs> yeah this would have been a Lex Luger moment Lex Luger picking up the giant it might still happen someday maybe they're saving it for a, for a big pay-per-view or something because it looked like she had her up, like she almost did it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and then uh, a, a slam, and that led to an Annihilator, and that was the end of Bianca. I was kind of shocked that that was the booking there. Uh, but the the knee problem, they, they had built that from the SmackDown from the week prior. Yes, um, yes. That, that happened from the previous SmackDown. So yes. it, it was kind of already like a built-in story. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of you, them using that as an out, Vlad? Like an injury? There's another one later that that happens. I forgot who. I'm okay we'll with the. It. I'm okay with that out with injury. Obviously, I'm not really thrilled with what's going on with this Nia Jack stuff. But because no way yeah. should she be. You think it's an out when when like someone's this. injured gets injured and then now they can't win because they're injured? I mean, like Jay Uso. It's Jay Uso. The guy I'm thinking of is Jay Uso. He loses to. Uh, on Raw in the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the semifinal. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, th th it's an out for them, but I'm just talking about the overall booking and this women's thing. For, like, me and yeah, Jack, yeah. guys, like, what are we doing, man? <laughs> what are we doing? Well, she's been pretty Why good lately. Well, we're we're going to get to her match with Lyra Valkyria next, but honestly, since she's come back, since she went on hiatus, I don't think mm. she's done anything really egregious that I've seen because people used no, to say she I agree. she right. made 
botches that that were yeah. dangerous, you know. And and she she had a good match with Rhea, and she's been a good like '80s type of larger than life character. I I I think she's been pretty good lately. I don't know. I mean, I think we're just kind of yeah. thinking more of I think... how she used to be. But, I think yeah, so too. Robert... Her her recent run is pretty good. All right. Well, I'm gonna jump yes. to. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll, let, I'll, I'll wait till this match. Let's, let's do uh, the Queen of the Ring final. So this is yeah. Nia Jax against Lyra Valkyrie, who came out with a, a cool outfit with wings. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> that, looks... that, actually did, that actually did look pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyways, this is the, the end of the match. Another great match, but I thought that finish here was really good because she was going to uh, give her a powerbomb off the top rope. Lyra was going to give to Nia Jax, and then she couldn't do it, and then she just got squished. That <laughs> was perfect. <laughs> it Boy. was such a good finish to this match. And then... Agreed. Nia Jax is the queen of the ring. Hold on, let me put that audio a little lower. And Triple H comes out to present, to present the queen of the ring uh, crown to Nia Jax. She kneels down and actually lets him put it on there's a hug she starts crying you can see some tears coming out of her eyes and i liked her promo i'm gonna play like 10 seconds from it save your congratulations kayla i don't need it <laughs> i know that none of you are happy for me <laughs> but i'm very happy for me <laughs> okay and i'm gonna get a lot happier and you're all gonna get a lot angrier because I will become the WWE Champion and your Queen at SummerSlam. <laughs> nice promo. Well, nice promo. Option. Well, look, going into it, I had I was looking forward to this match. I watched this with my girlfriend, this pay-per-view, and I was trying to tell her, like, man, I don't know who's going to win this, Lyra or Nia, because Lyra's been pushed very heavy, beat Becky, beat Neo Sky. And Nia Jax also, I don't, you know, I could see that happening. But I, I going in, I didn't know. I thought it was going to be Lyra. But I wasn't super surprised that it was Nia. Anyways, any comments from you guys on Nia Jax being queen of the ring? Uh, Vlad, let's start with you. Uh, yeah, I mean... I know you mentioned earlier, you're, you're not a fan of this booking. But, man, mm. I don't know. She's, she's been larger than life. I think she's uh, like that. That <laughs> promo, like she cut. There's a joke. There's a joke there. She's oh, larger God. than life. It's she's true though. Than, she's a, like she's an attraction. When she comes out, she's different uh, from all the other girls. She's Andre she's, the Giant. I see. I see. She seems no, intimidating. Listen. Just the fact that her, her move, the, the is annihilator, big. is is pretty she's good. Huge. It's a pretty good move. But anyway, yeah, okay. Like the, the, so the you would have given it to Lyra then. Not that I have this uh, the rookie would have been queen of the ring. Not that I have this overwhelming like for Ly Lyra, but it's just the way I would have booked it is yes, if you want to kind of get her over, uh, why not give her something like this? Not that it, this kills her push or anything like that, but Nia Jax, I mean, like, really, what? I don't know this. Oh, and another interesting uh -huh. thing that I'm they not, uh, I'm just announced. Not seeing, I'm just not seeing it. Oh, sorry. Yes, go ahead. What did they announce? Another interesting that, thing that they announced for this year is that the King and Queen of the Ring are going to get a title shot at okay, Summer. That, that was that was going to be my comment. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, right. And that's why yeah, she said. Right. That's why. Yeah. See, I didn't actually. I didn't so, get that until. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead, Robert. So, um, thinking like big picture right you know the the whoever wins this would match up against bailey at SummerSlam. that uh looking at it from that perspective and that that's to me how this makes sense that nia Jax um won because she's already been established as uh, you know a heel <laughs> like she's always the heel in every matchup and so um, that's what you would need in, in a, in a matchup for the title against, you know, Becky Lynch at SummerSlam. So that, that's how I made sense of this result. Um, it would, it would have made sense for, for it to be Nia instead of Lyra, but you know, yeah, at the same time, I also do agree that, you know, if you're, if you are planning to build up, uh, Lyra, then, um, she probably should have won. But, you know, they can always, you know, she she has a lot of time, right? So they, they oh, can yeah. still uh, build her up um, 
at some point, you know, later on down the year, and she can, if they want her to be a champion, she can be a champion later on. All right. Well, I am fine with it. I think uh, the new Nia Jax, I guess, is is a little more careful. <laughs> so they're not really cri- she's not getting criticized as much for her work lately. But that's all I got to say about that. Ooh.